Oh, good evening, friends. Uh, I'm Atikul Rahman, an AWS Certified Professional Designs Engineer. I'm going to show you today how you can use AWS Lambda to send emails using AWS SES, which is simple email services. So let's get started. So first, let me write down the code. So what I have to do is uh, create a virtual environment first. And then I'm going to have a simple script that will use Python to send you. So I'm going to switch to virtual environment, which is Windows scripts activate, and it should activate the virtual environment. You see here, the input that is we have activated the virtual environment. Now, uh, the basic things I need to install, which is to install uh, If by default it's not coming with the virtual environment, so you just have to install Boto3 and for sending out the emails. Boto3 is the, like, one of the official library from AWS for the connection. So you can use Boto3 to access all of the AWS services. So ACS, EC2, API Gateway, EKS, all those things can be accessed here. Two, two, three. So it's a full library to learn it. So uh, it is being installed and my it's mostly done. While it's been running, okay, it's time to clear the screen. Maybe I can minimize the screen. So what I do do is create a script. So let's call it uh, email.py and I'm going to import it. Go to three uh, in the old JSON because that's it. But JSON is coming with by default. Then I'm going to write the number function. Or just any function. Because I'm going to run on a number, so just follow the convention. Uh, but you can use any kind of function name as well. That's your initial even convention. So what I'm going to do is now uh, so, um, so this I'm going to pass it as an event parameter. So, just set this. Then, a uh, subject should be same. I like to write a for loop to do this, but let's do it. Let's do it. Click body, you can body, and then uh, from address, you can, yes. So, what is this? To, to whom I'm going to set it, subject, subject of the email, body, body of the email. I'm going to use text, but you can use HTML as well, from address, that is, from whom we are sending out. For, for example, we are sending email via SES, but we don't want to show that the sender is SES. We want to show that sender is me, Atikul. So to do this, I have to verify a domain in SES. I have other tutorials on how to verify your domain. And then you can use uh, one of the verified domains as a sender from address. For example, if I have verified my domain, awsatik.com, then I could use info at awsatik.com as a from address for any other if I have verified the domain. But this is the precondition that you have to verify the domain in AWS. I have two or three tutorials on my other videos where you can just see how to verify a domain. So I will give the link of the video as well in the description. So that being done, I need to uh, go to the CS client. So what is this? Number three, SES. Uh, I'm assuming that the lambda function and the SES are on the same region. If it's on a different region, like the lambda function is US, but uh, US is one, but the SES is on US is two, then you have to provide the region of that uh, of the uh, where the SES is staying. But if it's on the same region, but then you will need to provide the region parameter. I'm going to run on the same region. 
So um, this is the ACS client. Then what I have to do is uh, simple send email. Uh, so send email has a couple of things. Source, that is use from address, that is sending the email. Yes, our example is from address. Then uh, destination maybe. Uh, I just don't even got those like syntaxes, but let's see if it's wrong, then I'll probably get some more error and then I can fix it from the original official documentation. So, um, estimation. Addresses. Addresses, that means you can get multiples. So, uh, But I'm going to give one that is uh, yes. okay. So that being said, this is our destination. Now the message. Again, I might be wrong because I don't memorize all those parameters. You can just go to their repository client official documentation and read the parameter names. So I'm just showing it. If it's wrong, we will probably get another message. So in the message section, we will have the subject. Right? And uh, here we also have body. And that is our subject. OK, then I need to have body. And that body needs to be kind of like I'm using text, but if you want to use HTML as well, that's possible. And that is body, everybody. Funny. Okay. So I can get a response here. So what is happening in that here? Put it as a response. That is there. Then the token is return. Status hundred and relation dump spawns that being said. So let's try it out. Yeah, Jason. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is status, this is body. Sorry. So, uh, that being said, um, now we can test it on our Lambda function. So, let's go to the AWS console and then let's create a Lambda function here. So, give it a move. Then, I'm going to choose Python 3.9. Everything has taken. Awesome. Okay, so it's taking some time. We should buy. Usually nowadays, I see this is happening. Okay, so a lot of things are by default. They have to buy the deal. So what we have to do is. I'm just going to grab my this section, which is actually uh, uh, which is actually the code. So this is it, Jason. And we are going to go right to the point. But wait, wait, wait! It's we are not done yet. So what we have to do is go to configuration and do the conditions. And uh, this lambda function has a role. So what the basic role is, we actually don't have any access to other AWS services. Okay, it is a basic role. But we are going to use lam ACS from the lambda. That means the lambda needs to have access to ACS. That permission is required. And we can do that by adding the permission to the 
I enroll, but it's attached to that Lambda function. Actually, you can uh, actually change it. If you have already created some role previously, you can just attach it, or you can just uh, provide the access with this I enroll. I'm going to give access here. So what will be the SMS full access? At this moment, there's no big risk of being full access, but try to give minimum access, that's better. So I have given access here and um, that's it, right? Okay, so I have the verdict, let just put the review. If anything goes wrong, then, oh, it's bad, right? So we need to uh, actually put on the response. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, um, what's next? Okay, next we have to configure a test event where we will define all those things here. Okay, so email. I'm going to go to variables name here, but we have defined earlier to address in this particular address. So to it's have a temporary email, so let's copy this. You can use it as well if you want some temporary emails. So then subject. It's good. Ah, subscribe. Yes. A lot of people don't subscribe. I don't know. Body. Please subscribe to my channel. So the last one is from address that is from where I'm going to send this email. So I have already verified the domain. Okay, look for me. There is like um it should be different in your case, for example, because you might have a different. So uh, this is it, right? This is the key. Um, okay, saving. Stop. Yeah, no module name go to. Okay, why this? Oh, go to three. Yeah, this is a typo. Pardon me. Destination of two addresses. Okay, something is wrong. I guess so. So, what we have here? Destination two addresses. Okay. Okay, we just need to refer the uh, official documentation of three. Or I have in my blog a uh, simple script. So, so there it is. What we have to do is sending where it is where it is sending. But again, this is uh, not a big issue because uh the two addresses are oh, okay. So destination, okay, to address, okay, but it is a list. Okay. I got it. There is no body. So that's my mistake. So actually, this part should be gone. So this is it. Right? I should go now. Let's test it. Non parameter in the message for the email. Subject return. For the text. Nice. It says the non parameter in message for the subject. Oh. So do we have subject here? Message, subject, okay. Um, now uh, there is, I can memorize these things and then I can stuck. Okay. 
looks good as you can. Okay, this one looks like too. This section, okay, but you didn't have a specified subject. Um, oh, it's data, sorry. Yeah, there is here, but where my data comes from. Okay, that was my mistake. I should have taken this. Okay, let's try one more time. It should be okay. Let's go here. And this, yeah, there it is. Let's do it. So, uh, subscribe to AWS, I think you subscribe to my channel. Uh, as I said, I used uh, simple text, but you can use HTML as well with these things. So I think you got the point, right? How you can send uh, events using AWS Lambda functions. You can link API gateway and create an API and give it to third-party people and make thousands of dollars. So that being said, uh, that's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I will get more videos related to Python. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.